Hey, welcome back. Continuing with chapter 11, pronouns, let's begin. Interrogative pronouns. Interrogative pronouns is a pronoun used for asking question. Means when you ask question, we use interrogative pronoun. For example, what are you wearing for the party tonight? Here, what is used as an interrogative pronoun. Where are you? Here, where is interrogative pronoun? When will the train depart? When is interrogative pronoun? Why are you sad? Why is interrogative pronoun? How are you? How is interrogative pronoun? So, we have read these few examples in which interrogative pronouns are used. For example, we have used what, where, who, why, when, how. So, in these example, we have used these interrogative pronouns to ask questions. Next is possessive pronouns. A possessive pronoun talks about ownership. These pronouns are generally used as adjectives. Let's read some examples. This cycle is mine. Mine is possessive pronoun because it shows ownership. Why are you sitting on our chair? Our is possessive pronoun here. Our shows the ownership on the chair. So here we have read two examples of possessive pronoun those are mine and are students possessive pronoun and possessive adjective possessive pronouns always comes after a noun matlab ki possessive pronoun wo hoga jo hamesha hi noun ke baad aayega always remember this thing let's read this example the dress is mine here dress is a noun Mine is a possessive and it is a pronoun because it comes after the noun. Possessive adjective. Possessive adjective here are possessive comes always before the noun. For example, my dress is in the cupboard. Here my is a possession and which comes possessive which comes before the noun. So dress is a noun and my is a possessive adjective. So I think... Now it is very much clear for you to identify possessive pronoun and possessive adjective. Next is reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns are used when the object of the verb is also the subject of the verb. Or you can say act as the object of, of the sentence and shows the receiver of an action. Means ki sentence mein jo receiver hoga action ka wo reflexive pronoun hoga but it is related to the subject. Now for example I helped myself. So who has helped me? Myself. I myself helped. So here myself is the object and what is the verb? Helped. Next they hurt themselves during the game. Now here who hurt? They hurt themselves. Themselves is the object and here verb is hurt. Next example, I completed the project myself. Here what is the object? Myself and completed is the verb. So this is reflexive pronoun. Amphitic pronoun. These are little similar to reflexive pronoun. It seems similar to reflexive pronoun but they are different. They are used to draw attention or just to emphasize. Now let's read them in more detail. They are the part of subject and they are placed before the verb. Remember these two things students. And one more important thing that if we remove them... From the sentence, the sentence meaning will remain same. It will not be changed. For example, I myself completed the project. Here myself is emphasis because emphasis is given on that who has completed the project. Myself. Is pe zor de 
स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव कंप्लीटेड आर टॉपिक प्रोनाउंस आर यू रेडी फॉर असाइनमेंट येस आई थिंक सो बाय बाय